Hello Bears fans, it's time for more coverage here online at HersheyBears.com. The second consecutive three game and three night stretch out of six in a row awaiting your Hershey Bears this weekend and this time it's all against East Division opponents. The Bears could really separate themselves from their foes with a good run of points this weekend but they'll have to do it starting out on Friday with a visit, believe it or not, for the first time all year to the Binghamton Senators Barn. We begin Roaring on the Road presented by Travel Champs in Binghamton where the Bears and Senators this season so far have scrapped it out three times. All three have been in Hershey. The last two were fairly close games and both went to overtime with one win going to each team. But the first matchup back on December 13th was anything but close. The Bears erupted for a pair of goals separated by just a minute 25 when Chris Brown and Philippe Cornet tallied past goaltender Andrew Hammond. Derek Grant would get Binghamton on the board with a power play goal, but another rapid fire pair of goals by Stan Galiev and Tim Kennedy would put the game out of reach. Grant would score a second goal, but Chris Connor finished the scoring with an empty netter, helping Phoenix Copley's 18 saves stand up in a 5-2 win. The matchup on December 27th probably shouldn't have ended the way it did as the Bears held a 3-2 lead late in the third period after Dustin Gaisley, Brown and Chris Newberry all lit the lamp behind goaltender Scott Grenham. But Alex Grant's goal with 3.43 left tied the game and Ryan Dezingle finished the comeback with a 4-on-4 overtime tally, 2.45 into the extra time. Another overtime game would follow in the third matchup of the year on January 24th. The Sens deployed a third netminder, AHL journeyman Peter Menino, and this seemed to pay dividends. Chris Connor and former Sens center Jim O'Brien would wipe out an early 1-0 deficit, but Carter Camper struck for the tying goal at 15.59 of the middle period. Menino and Philip Grubauer turned aside everything they saw in the third, setting up another overtime. This time, the Bears would make quick work of things as Connor Carrick's slapper 54 seconds in was accidentally pushed in by defenseman Frederick Clayson, sending the Bears off the bench in celebration. Menino made 33 saves in the loss. The Bears will head to the newly named and newly remodeled Floyd L. Maines Veterans Memorial Arena this Friday to take on the Binghamton Senators with face-off set for 7.05 p.m. The MNC Foreign Car Parts pregame show airs at 6.25 on 100.1 WQIC and on Fox Sports 1460 with puck drop and game action to follow. The Bears will play the four road games of this eight-game season series in Binghamton, all in a span of six Fridays from February 6th through March 13th. The line of Chris Connor, Tim Kennedy, and Chris Brown have thrived in this series. It should be fun to watch them again. The rest of the weekend action returns to Chocolate Town, and it begins on Saturday as the hated Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins come to town for the final time in the regular season series. And the Bears are looking to make a statement in this one. Hershey has a commanding 5-2-2 record against their arch rivals, so winning this game will not only win the season series, but it will give the Bears that division lead cushion again, provided Friday night in Binghamton goes well. One thing that the Bears will have to do is figure out Jeff Zatkoff. He has three wins and three losses, but a goals against of 1.44 in six games. The Bears have not scored more than two goals against the Penguins in their last six in a row and were shut out once. But in those six games only scoring twice, Hershey has won three of them. Puck drop from Giant Center is at 7 with radio pregame at 6.20 across the entire Bears radio network. All fans receive candy upon exit courtesy of the Hershey Company as we celebrate chocolate-covered February. The season series wraps up with two games in Wilkes-Barre, separated by just three days, March 11th and 14th. By then, the likely position of these two teams in the standings could very well be solidified. The East Division weekend wraps up on Sunday when a grizzled opponent comes to town, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, who will be looking for two things. One, to stop the high-flying Hershey offense against them, and two, figuring out how to win at Giant Center. The Bears have scored 22 goals against the Phantoms in their last four games. That's an average of better than five per game. Lehigh Valley goaltenders Rob Zepp, Anthony Stolarz, and Martin Willette have each made at least one appearance against Hershey. And clearly, even though Stolarz recorded a shutout on December 19th, Zepp is the man that the Phantoms want to start against the Bears. The Phantoms do not play on Friday and host Worcester on Saturday, so provided no recall to Philadelphia occurs, the 33-year-old Zepp should be the Bears' target. He is 2-0 with one no decision, a goals against of 2.38, and a 9.18 save percentage, hands down the better netminder of the trio that faced Hershey to date. The Bears are 5-2-0-1 in the series with four games remaining, including a perfect 3-0 at Giant Center. Puck drop is at 5 o'clock Sunday with radio pregame around the network at 4.20. 
The first 4,000 fans receive a PSECU Bears knit cap, and it's another Dietz and Watson dollar dog night. Bring your appetite and your energy as the Bears could be in even better shape in the standings. That'll do it for Roaring on the Road, presented by Travel Champs. I'm Scott Stuccio. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you this weekend.